along right now. We're ready for the next match. And this is the women's bronze medal match. And this will feature Danielle Brown, the young woman we were talking about a moment ago. She's from England. There she is, taking on Laura Longo of Italy. And quite a story, Danielle Brown. There you see the judge as we get set for this match. But Danielle Brown defeated Christy Collin. There's Laura Longo. We'll tell you a little bit about Laura first. Laura Longo beat Albina Loganova of Russia in the quarterfinals, then lost a shootout in the semis to Jamie Van Atta, both shooting at 10, but Van Atta's shot was just about dead center, closer to the center. And so Longo moves on to the bronze medal match along with her coach. We'll be assisting her in this showdown with Danielle Brown of Great Britain. Danielle defeated Christy Collin of the U.S. by one point, 140 to 139, before dropping her semifinal match to Erica Anschutz, also of the U.S. She won't qualify for Istanbul, but she is in contention for a bronze medal. And boy, you just have to take your hat off to her and just have all the respect in the world for a competitor like Danielle Brown. Yep, for sure, for sure. She walks out to the start line and then is hand to the stool from which she will shoot. But competes against able-bodied archers. And as you said earlier, not just competes, she wins. That's right, she's in a bronze medal match here in a World, uh, World Cup event, so. Um, Certainly one of the best around. An inspiring story here in Danielle Brown of Great Britain, who has reached the bronze medal match of this fourth stage of the Archery World Cup in Shanghai. And Danielle will shoot first at target number two on the right. And she starts off with a nine very authoritatively. Yep, she was very positive in that shot. And at least then she'll know what the wind is doing and where to aim for her next shot. You do want to make a statement with that first shot, don't you? If you can, it's a great way to start. So both start off with a nine. It's amazing the, fe the feelings that actually go through your body as um, the other person shooting. You try not to focus on it, but you do hear their score. Do you ever watch when you're competing? Do you ever watch your competitor? Or are you thinking about your next shot? I really do my best not to look at what they're getting. And if I can possibly focus on um, not looking at their target, I'll, I'll do that. Um, even if they've got the scope set up with both targets. I'll even set up my scope so that I can't see their target and just focus on what I'm doing. So four shots and all of them are nines. We're tied after the first two shots. Five ends, three shots per end and a 10 for Danielle Brown who draws a nice cheer from the crowd. You can see the slight movement in her release hand, whether that's nerves or tension. And Laura Longo matches her. So we're even all at 28. 28 apiece. After the first end. So it's very, very even. Laura Longo, a member of the women's team that took fifth in Torino at the World Championships earlier this summer. And a silver medalist with her mixed team at stage two in Turkey. She also won bronze in the individual competition at the first World Cup stage in Croatia back last spring. Also picked up a bronze in Ogden, Utah last month. So Laura Longo, very experienced at a very high level of skill in the world of archery. Certainly a long list of results there. She has been here before and there's a good look at Danielle Brown who comes in ranked 27th in the world, has been as high on the charts as 20th in the world rankings. And was a member of the women's team from Great Britain that took a bronze medal here in Shanghai last year. She was also a member of the team that I believe won a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games last year in India. We'll tell you more about Danielle as the match progresses. Shoots another nine. Tied at 28 all after the first end. 
And now a 10 for Longo, so she moves ahead by one point. Back to Brown. And she matches Longo's shot. Straight back into the X. They're getting into the pattern. They're getting into their routine. I think the nerves will have dropped off a little bit by now. And a nine. See Danielle take a breath in between there so that she can uh, control her. Carl Arkey along with Pat Conglin, a member of the Australian national team since 2005, and we watch a nine. You could even Four. see that time that her release hand was a lot, a lot more still, a lot, a lot more set. So they remain tied, both shooting a pair of nines and one ten here in the second end. So it remains tied. We're all even. Let's talk about a little bit about the breathing and how important that is in terms of the result that you're, you're going to get or hope to get with your, your shot. Sure, I can only talk about myself, but um, generally you'll find that you know, you've know you got to control your breathing. If you can control that, then it's easier to maintain your composure through the shot. So I've got that as part of my process. I take a breath at a certain time, and um, you'll find that if you have that same sort of um, breathing rhythm, mm -hmm. you can actually shoot better. Are you trying to release between breaths? Sure, and sometimes it can take the stress out of it as well. If you take a deep breath, I've found that it'll clear my mind. And I'm not sure whether these guys would be using that, but I'm sure some of them would. When you take a deep breath, and you can't think about anything else. You relax a little bit, and hopefully you shoot more naturally. So there are the scores, both with 55, is that right? 55 points for both out of a possible 60? I can't see that score at the moment. We've got a 56 there and a 65, so. So it was actually, yes, tied. And they remain tied at 65 points total as they both shoot nines on their first shot. So this third end and another nine right on the line for Danielle Brown. We're talking about breathing and um, I think you'll find Roger Willett Jr. is into free diving. Now, as well as being a strong, strong archer, he's also got the ability to hold his breath for a long time. I'm sure that helps him in uh, his strength and his aiming process. Big, big 10 put up by Laura Longo, but Danielle Brown counters her with a 10 herself. Now, can Longo counter that 10? If she does, she'll pull ahead in this match. And she does. So 29 points in this end to 28 points. And after three ends, Longo goes up by one. So it's been a battle back and forth as Longo and Brown have been matching each other shot for shot just about through the first three ends. There's no time in that 20 seconds to be indecisive. You can't let down like you often do. When you're in the qualification rounds, you get about 40 seconds an arrow or six arrows in 240 seconds. Here, it's down to 20 seconds an arrow. You've got to be decisive. You can't let down. You've got to make the decision and make the shot. Laura Longo from Italy, currently ranked fifth in the world, picked up a bronze in the individual competition of the World Championships in her home country in Torino back in July, or I should say actually in Korea two years ago, excuse me. I see Brayden sitting up there a lot more relaxed now. <laughs> yeah, pressure's off now for Brayden. But it is not Danielle Brown who shoots an eight with the first shot of this fourth end. Longo patiently holding it until she gets the shot she wants, a 10. Slight movement in her release hand prior to the shot certainly didn't affect it hitting the 10. So Longo with a 10 and an 8 for Brown with her first shot, a 9 now for Danielle with her second shot. So see that all of Danielle's arrows have been grouping high. 
Longo with a nine. Longo with an opportunity to put some distance and a little bit of daylight between herself and her competitor from Great Britain. It's Danielle Brown, ready to shoot. And shoots well. She answers it, doesn't she? Puts it straight back into the X. She medaled back in July at the World Archery Paralympic Qualifier and Championships. So, as you were mentioning, Pat, a little while ago, she competes in the Paralympic events as well as these type of events as well. Well, that's uh, going to be coming up for them next year in, uh, in London, and, and that's a, a big priority. Um, it's a, obviously the Olympics, the biggest um, sporting event in the world, so she'll certainly be training towards that, I'd assume. And obviously trying to win a spot on her team in her home country, hosting in London next year. 2012 Summer Olympic Games. So after 12 arrows, <laughs> Danielle Brown falling behind by a few points as Laura Longo now has 113 possible points out of a, well, 113 points out of a possible 120 points. As we saw earlier with Mexico and France, um, it's only a couple of points, it's only one arrow. So there's a 10. See that time counting down. Longo actually led by two after the fourth end. Nine. Only just out there, geez. So close. Both of these archers so calm, cool, and collected. No matter what happens. Each shooting a 10 with their first shot, a 9 with their second shot, and now here's Danielle Brown. Buying it. And eyes an 8. That won't help her chances. Just got away from there a little bit there. On the line. And a gold medal for Laura Longo, who wraps it up. Both these archers matching each other, shot for shot on the first two ends. But then finally Longo pulling away and going over and giving her opponent a big hug. Well done by both of these archers. And again, you see the sportsmanship in, in this sport of archery. It certainly is there in archery. There's a great rapport between the archers. And a ton of respect for both of these archers. Danielle Brown, there's Laura Longo, posing for pictures as she wins another gold medal. Laura medaled, as we said, at the first stage in Croatia, the third stage in Ogden, and here in Shanghai, she finally wins gold and picks up an important piece of hardware as she wins 141 to 138. Oh, excuse me, bronze. 